Recently I made a video of my day shooting college football. If you haven't watched it, be sure to go check it out. Near the beginning of the video, there was an armband that I had to go pick up at Will Call, and I mentioned in the video that I was going to mention it later on and talk about it a little bit more in depth. Well, honestly, I just forgot about it. I've had a few people ask, so I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and tell you a little bit about it. Media credentials really vary by the type and level of sport. For example, most high school sports, or at least many, you don't even really need a credential. You can go right down to the court or to the floor or down out onto the field and basically shoot away. Now, not all schools are like that. Some schools you have to call ahead to be able to get on a list, and then there's others, like I mentioned, where you can just go right on out there. It also depends on the type of sport that you're shooting. For example, uh, playoff football. Um, many times you're not, they don't just allow anybody to go out there. You actually have to have a credential to go out there. Whereas a, like an indoor sport like basketball or volleyball or wrestling or something like that, where just normal fans are close to the action, most of the time you don't really need a credential. You can go down, uh, sit behind the basketball goal, and you can just shoot away. College and pro sports are when credentials become a lot more important for several reasons. Number one, the demand. There's a lot more people that would want to be down there and closer to the action to shoot, and you just can't allow everybody down there. And number two is safety. If you're shooting even high school, but even the lower levels, junior high or peewee type of football, you can't really get hurt too bad. They're not that big, not that fast. When you're shooting professional or college level football or auto racing or something like that, the speeds are a lot faster, they're a lot heavier, and you can actually really, really get hurt. So that's why credentials are a lot more important. When you're shooting something like auto racing or football or soccer, many times you'll be given a vest that you actually have to wear. And the vests are used for several reasons. The first and most obvious reason is it allows staff and security to be able to easily see who the photographers are. Obviously it's everybody just carrying a camera, but to make sure that you're credentialed, instead of having to go up to everybody and have to flip around their credential and check and make sure if everybody has a vest, more than likely they're credentialed and they're just going to leave those people alone. The second reason is because at some sporting events, there's actually a photographer's meeting that happens well in advance of the game or the event. At that photographer's meeting, they'll just basically go over the rules and all the different nuances of what the teams want or the coaches want or what the venue wants, where you're allowed to go, what's safe, what isn't safe, all that kind of boring stuff. But it's important that you know all that stuff. And to prove that you were there and were present and actually listened to all the, all the different things that they had to say, they will give you the vest at the end of the meeting. And and if you were not at that meeting, you won't get a vest. So if there's a photographer down there without a vest, they know they weren't at that meeting, and they know they don't know the rules, and they're not allowed to be down there. The third reason, and it kind of goes along with the second, is that the vests are numbered. Whenever your vest is issued to you, say your number 17, then it'll write down number 17 next to your name. Your vest will say 17. And if you're out there and you do something wrong, or there's a, a, a problem with either a fan, or there's a problem with an official or security or something like that, all they have to do is report your number, then go back to the list and know exactly who the problem was and who the issue was with. Sometimes instead of a vest, they'll give you something else to wear to show that you're a photographer. In the video that I talked about earlier where I first mentioned this, they are armbands. So basically, ahead of time, they will send you, um, at least at this, this particular venue, every different sport, every venue is different. But in this case, they sent me my actual lanyard credential and my parking passes in the mail ahead of time at the beginning of the season. But before each game, you actually have to go to the will call booth and pick up an armband. Each armband is a different color, and they each actually show um, the team that they're playing. That way, if, say, you're only credentialed for one game, say it's the second game of the year, against, say, Georgia Southern, like this one is, you can't just wear that armband for the rest of the year against all the other uh, different teams and different opponents. So they make them different colors, which makes it just easier for the uh, officials and security on the sidelines to see, hey, everybody has a green armband, why does that guy have a blue one, maybe I need to check him out. So it's pretty simple, things like that. So when you first pick it up, it's just a simple piece of basically thick paper, and it has a, a peel-away sticky on the back of it. Now it does say um, the instructions actually on it, they're not now because I ripped it off, but the instructions are actually on it to put it on your left, I believe it's the left arm uh, between your elbow and your shoulder, so it would be right there. But the issue with that is it's uncomfortable. It is a thick paper, but sometimes it can rip, uh, it can wrinkle, it can, um, all kinds of issues that can happen with it. So really nobody uses it that way. Basically what you do is, and I'll show you here on my credential what you do, is instead of wrapping around your arm, you just op uh, open it up, take the little bit of sticky off uh, the side, stick it together, and then you just have it around the actual lanyard part on your credential so it's like that. Some people will take it, like for example me, I will have it 
and I will just have it just like this, where it's hanging there. Sometimes the wind will kind of take it and get it wrapped up, which is annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Some people will take it and actually put it back behind their neck, like that. Just whatever is most comfortable for you. It doesn't really matter. Um, I've seen them put, uh, some people have put them on the actual straps of their camera. Some people have actually put them around their ankle. Whatever is most comfortable for you. If you want to put it on your armband, you can certainly do that, um, but just most people don't. And then there are some sports or organizations or leagues that don't require a vest or an armband or a pin or anything else to wear. Basically, it's just the credential that you wear around your neck. It all, like I said, just depends on the league, the level, uh, the type of sport, things like that. In fact, uh, this weekend I'll be shooting the Red Bull Air Race here in Indianapolis. And I, I don't know if they've changed it from last year, but last year all they required was the credential to wear around the neck. You didn't have a vest or anything like that. Again, it's just all up to an organization and it changes. For those that message me and that were wondering about the armband, I hope that clears things up a little bit. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. As always, be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching.